All right, everyone, welcome back. Got a new um, bit of equipment for the boat, so I thought I'd uh, give everyone a bit of an update and let you know how it's going and everything. Haven't actually used it yet. Bought myself uh, an electric water snake from BCF. So it's the Ambush model, 54 pound of thrust. I've only got a 4.3 meter boat, so I think that's gonna be plenty. Um, it's got a 48 inch shaft on it as well. Uh, we're going up the Murray in a few weeks and we've got a, the, the, the Gamby Cod uh, competition on as well in Feb. So it needs something to be able to poke around in the snags and you know keep uh, keep moving along in the current slowly upstream, but not as fast as the, the big motor will give me. So. Um, all I've done so far is got some 5mm aluminium checker plate, cut it out into the shape of the bow rails, put some U-bolts on, four U-bolts to stop it from moving, and mounted the quick release bracket, which is pretty handy, so whenever I pull up, I can just lift it off straight away. All I have to do, which I haven't finished yet, is run some ready rod through there, um, and you know, having like a rubber base to stop, there's a little bit too much flex in there for what I want at the moment. So this model comes with a remote control and foot pedals. I haven't mounted up the foot pedals. I'm just sort of tr testing it all out at the moment. Played around getting it set. So when I'm sitting behind the wheel, you only see this very slightly, but it's completely not in your vision at all. The motor being mounted over on the left-hand side, you can still see where you're going if you need to nose in somewhere, you know, mucking about in snags and everything else. So um, obviously there's just the four bolts. It's really, really simple. I can take this on and off in about five minutes. Um, and I'm just going to do a trial run. I've got a um, golf buggy motor here that's about 20 amp hours. So I want to see how long I actually want to set it on and run it and see how long it goes for, just to get some indicative ideas um, in case I need to get another battery because I haven't used it before. Not too sure. Now, as I mentioned, uh, it's the Ambush model, 54 pound of thrust, 48 inch long shaft. It's got a three blade weedless just reading directly from the thing here. No real idea of um, you know how long the battery's going to last for, but we'll give it a test out in the uh, upcoming week when we go away for a weekend just to trial it out. So what I want to do now is clip it and make sure when I measure it all up, I think I got everything right, but this will actually be the first time so I can see what it actually goes like. It in so that it doesn't completely fall off. There you go. Hello. All right, so it's all hooked up. Um, it's dropped down. I haven't put the blade on yet. Just want to make sure I give it a try run and see what it goes like. Yep. So, don't touch it please. Spin it around. Ready, you can wind it up, down. Yeah. You can spin around, very cool. Sure, exactly what I've done there, but anyway, but it's working and it's off. So, very, very cool. Plug that in there. So, all right, so I'll just bring it in for a little bit of a closer look and show you exactly how I've sort of got it mounted up here. So, as you can see, it's just the five mil plate cut angled like i said i need to put in a little bit of steel under here because there is a little bit of flex there which i'll need to take out around here as you can see it's plenty of room it's not going to hit anything i've also still got plenty of room up the top here for the motor uh, to make sure i'm in the water that it's not hanging out too far um, like i said i've just put two lots of these u-bolts on stop it at the moment i don't have the front ones on because i'm just trial fitting everything and uh yeah 
So yeah, so that's pretty much everything ready to go. Um, looking forward to giving it a whirl. But um, BCF, I had them on special. Um, you can get a whole bunch of different models. This one is not the GPS version. Um, I think that was basically like another thousand dollars, and for the amount that I'm going to be using it in fresh water or even out in the ocean, if I wanted to keep it on, I think just being able to use the the foot controller or the remote, um, pretty straightforward. So um, the remote, obviously, turn it on, left, right, speed. Not sure what the M and the N are. I need to read the instructions on that. You want to hop out, do you? All right, hang on a second. All right, so um, if you want to take the motor off at night and not leave it on from a safety point of view, um, it comes with a quick release. So everything, you didn't have to buy anything else extra. It's come with everything here. You'll see here, there's this little metal bar. So this holds the motor on and also then allows you to quickly take it off. So once you pull that out, the motor just sits in, the motor sits in this plastic hard bracket um, that's underneath, that's got the four bolts here. Um, and then you can just lift the whole thing off and put it in your car or, you know, put it in your tent or whatnot so that no one can, can knock it off from you. So, overall, um, once I get that bracket just there to stiffen it up a little bit, for, I think it'll be a pretty good bit of gear just for mucking around in the Murray and um, in the Gold and any lakes that we go mucking about with. Alright, so um, that's pretty much everything on the motor. Like I said, I haven't had a chance. I literally just fitted it up, mucking about, still getting it ready for the next couple of weekends. But uh, if you've got any questions on it, if you've got any feedback on it, if you've got one of these, I'll be really interested to see if there's any tips or tricks because I've never had to use one. Um, and yeah, I'll catch you on the next video. Thanks for watching.